Tampa. Welcome to the Wednesday Night Live, last one of the year. Hey, Tam, how you doing? Break. Hey, can you hear me? All right. happen? Miss Ambassador. Can you hear me? Yep. Cool. Yeah. So. Turn your yeah. volume up a little bit, though. Okay, let me turn up. All right. All right. So now you have officially joined us with live, the Wednesday Night Live. And the topic that you so awesomely chose for us are relationship goals BS. That is a wonderful topic, and we're about to dive into it. So right. before Tim starts, I want to repeat what I said earlier. I don't know if she heard me. So um, Tim is the DAR ambassador, and she has been an amazing ambassador for us. She has really spread the word about what we are doing what the vision is what our goal is and so we want to first thank you tam oh thank you <laughs> we want to thank Love you for, i can't wait to rock my t-shirt yes <laughs> for your dedication and your loyalty and your support to us it is so appreciated and we know that you have a lot going on, but you've still chosen to really support us, and we appreciate that. Um, Thank you. Love you guys. So we're, we're glad that you agreed to be the last guest of 2022. It only seems fitting that our ambassador is. And then we wanted you to choose the topic that you wanted to discuss. And so I was saying typically we prepare a little differently for the lives, but I didn't ask you about like what you wanted to talk about. I wanted you to talk about it and then for us to just join in conversation with you about it. So it really is kind of like you have the floor and we're just going <laughs> to join in in conversation with you. Just so you know that. <laughs> just so that I'll drop that nugget down there. Yeah. Drop it. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> the pressure. <laughs> The pressure is getting thicker. The pressure is real. <laughs> yeah. Hey, well, I'm I'm thankful, you guys, because I think relationships are so freaking important. And, and what I loved about Data from the Real was that the realness of it, because I've been in groups before, believe me, single groups and, and relationship groups and that sort of thing. And everybody, well, most of the conversations were about bashing. I mean, the women would say men aren't this, and then the men would say the women aren't doing that. And it wasn't about any type of resolutions. It wasn't about anybody saying, you know what, yeah, I'm, I messed up in that relationship, and, and this is what I learned from it. And, and that's what we need, I believe, in order to grow and to have healthy relationships. Not only with, with um, you know, love relationships, but self-love relationships, mm -hmm. which is where it all starts, right? With mm -hmm. self-love, because we need to have that before we can even try and have any type of functional relationship with anybody else so Absolutely. that's why i love you guys and i point to you guys and i try and send everything to support because it's not about the bullshit okay we are transparent and we are honest so awesome. just that that's what that, that's how you say yeah. it and that's why you are who you are and that's why you are the ambassador <laughs> yeah well one thank of you so okay. Okay. There were so many topics to pick from, you guys, for relationships, right? Yeah. I'm sorry, black guy, I turned the volume up. Um, and so I scoured. I do a lot of things on uh, a lot of background information, you guys. So, and in college, I stu study psychology. So I've always been about um, human behavior and why mm -hmm. things happen, and you know, you know, digging deep about things. So I do a lot of YouTube. I watch a lot of YouTube people on there. I do a lot of reading. I do a lot of observations that you'll see me many times. If you see me, a lot of times I'm pretty quiet because I love hearing from other people. I'm very observant. Mm -hmm. So that's who I am in my spirit. Yeah. Um, so when I speak to you guys, I'm, most of the time I'm speaking from my own experience because I'm not an expert. I don't have a degree in it, quote unquote. I just have studied it a lot. And I kind of believe in transparency. Even to my detriment, sometimes people are sometimes like, "Tamara, you didn't have to say that." about it. I was like, "How are we gonna? Yeah, how are we gonna be honest about each other unless I can share my experience? Because when I show my flaws, 
so many other people start raising yeah. their eyes. They're like, the you, know you know, you know what, Tam, I, mm -hmm. I, <laughs> I, I have done that before, mm -hmm. you know, so, so that's what it's about. So I chose the topic about um, goal relationship because that's a hashtag that I see floating around so prevalently and so loosely that I think, and even for myself, I had to stop doing it, using that hashtag because I found myself putting that hashtag there and I'm like, I don't know these folks, you know, mm -hmm. and, and when I think, when I hashtag a relationship goes, I'm like, that means I'm high sign that relationship and that I'm saying that their relationship is a goal that I should have for myself. Now, let I don't know how the other people interpret it. Mm -hmm. That's what I think when I see somebody put right. hashtag mm -hmm. goals, right? Okay. So I, what really spurred that was um, The Real Housewives of Atlanta. I don't watch that show too much, but I do know the stars on there. And Portia, if anybody knows about her marriage recently. Oh. I think she changed eight times to this African, she African man. And I think she changed clothes about eight times within this marriage. <laughs> <in the wedding. laughs> her gowns were spectacular. Let me tell you, she they laid it out. African attire and then traditional American attire, makeup to the gods. And she just looks stunning. And I just kept seeing that that hashtag. But I'm like, I can't high side that because it's just visual. Yeah. You know, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. okay. I have no idea if this relationship was built on her social platform. If it was built on the money that this man has, has he has a lot of money. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying she's a gold digger. I have no inside view of their relationship. So yeah. why the heck are all these people saying relationship goals? Uh, we have Megan Good and her husband. Everybody was hashed. Okay, we see what happened there. If you don't know, they have divorced. Mm -hmm. So, and, and then it also spurs off to us women, I think in particular, guys, it's a little, little different spin from men, but for women, we put that on our guys that we date. We have those expectations of the stuff that we see on social media that says relationship goals, you know, the traveling, the the, Bir the Birkenstein uh, purses, or the Louis, or the, and we have that expectation, and it's wrong. I feel it's wrong to put those expectations on men. And it's growing by leaps and bounds. And it's a concern for me, especially for our younger generation women. If you have that expectation of you, what you think that is a relationship and what will bring you love, love is what you can get out of a person, where you can go with a person. We just need to reevaluate. So I just wanted to bring that to you guys and, and see what you guys feel about that. Have you ever put down the goal relationship goal or have you ever used that even around you know people that you know they're like yeah that's that's my relationship goal i just beg you to, to dig a little deeper on that let me know what you think go for it babe. well it's interesting because when when you said that topic i said to marcus that was the first thing that came to mind of how people want to hashtag relationship goals as it pertains to somebody else's relationship Mm -hmm. And it's interesting because, and I've said this, we've met him have had this conversation several times, and I've said, I don't want, that's not my goal to want what somebody else's relationship is because I don't know what is going on in their relationship. I have no idea what their relationship is comprised of. So for me to say, I want that as my relationship goal. That would mean I know all of the things that are going on in a relationship, and that's not possible. So the goal is not to be like anybody else. So I'm glad that you brought that. So I don't watch Real Housewives or anything. I think I saw some pictures of somebody in the wedding dress that could be who you're referencing, but I don't watch any of that. I don't know anything about those people. So it's interesting, though, because I have seen people People do the hashtag relationship goals about maybe good. And in fact, when her and um, what's his name, Devin or Devon or something, Devon, when they Devon got Franklin. together, I saw so many people saying, this is the type of relationship I want. This is the type of relationship I want. And I'm like, you don't know what type of relationship that is. 
How can you want something that you don't know anything about? And so it's just interesting that we kind of catch on to these. Um, even I've seen people do that about certain friendships, friendship goals. And you don't really know the ins and outs of their friendships. It's like, you got to be careful about what goals you want in something that you know nothing of. This is all surface stuff you're saying. It's all surface. And social media, as you said, social media is really giving young people specifically. And I know some older ladies I'm talking to that I've talked to that are like, oh, yeah, if I get a man, he's going to have to do this for me. He's going to have to do that for me. And I'm like, that sounds like Instagram. <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. But go ahead, babe. I know you had something. No. Um, um I used to think be a big Housewives of Atlanta supporter uh, about in 2012, 13, 12, 12, 13. I'm not gonna lie. I used to love and me and a bunch of dudes, we'll get together on a Tuesday or Monday and we'll and we'll have a whole discussion about Housewives of Atlanta. I'm not ashamed. That's interesting. Yeah. Okay, that is interesting. Yeah, shoot. Housewives of Atlanta and Love and Hip Hop. That was a whole to get some liquor at the work. We, we talking we talking all reality shows. But <laughs> yeah, I'm care. I'm not ashamed. <laughs> a couple times I've been tempted to go back to it. I don't care. Uh, yeah. So but as it as it pertains what you guys were just saying, yeah, us looking at somebody else's life. Especially one that's on the screen, mm -hmm. to me, it's getting to a point where, well, I've got to a point where it's no different than listening, basing our life on a song, a music, a rap song, anything like that. We're trying to live ourselves model after a fantasy, and that's where we start to make the mistake. We can't, we're not differentiating the fantasy from reality. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, these celebrities, not. I mean, I'm sitting like, it's only going to show you what they want you to see. Mm -hmm. They not. Right. We don't know what's going on behind closed doors. Just what, what's the um the the election guy who got busted cheating cheating that's one. Oh yeah, um, Derek Jack. Right. Mm -hmm. And to, to the whole world, it was perfect. Yep. But for him to go, for him to actually cheat, you know, something wasn't and right. And he's cheated several times. So <laughs> we have to be, be careful about. Fantasy and reality. Yes. Even in our own personal lives. Even when you're in a relationship, you should only show so much to the outside world. You can't put all your business on the street. Yep. Right. So, yeah. yeah I, so now I really understand where you're coming from now. When you say relationship goes to BBS. Yes. Well, okay. Even, even okay. with that, town, we get that sometimes. And we're not celebrities. We're not anybody that's out there like that. I've had right. at, at least five or six women say, I need somebody like him. Where are your friends at? Yeah. Where's your son? Right. That does, just because he has friends or brothers or cousins doesn't right. mean A, they're going to be like him, and B, right. what you see out here, I see something different. <laughs> right? Right. And so, right. not saying it's bad or it's horrible, I'm just saying, like, you're seeing an uh, interaction for a couple of hours with us. Exactly. And there's so, so much more to our relationship. So when people say, oh, I want the type of relationship you and Marcus have, it's like, you don't know the type of relationship me and Marcus have. And so you have to be careful of trying to want anything somebody else wants. We appreciate that people see us as a positive couple. However, having the goal to be like us, you might not... Mm -hmm. I may be able to deal with things that somebody else may not be able to deal with, and he may be able to deal with things about me that someone else may not be able to deal with. So it's right. dangerous to say, I want what you have and do, because if you had it, you may not, you may find, oh, it's not what it looked like the couple of hours yeah. I, I, had, I hung around them. So basically, what I'm hearing is a relationship goal should be like a good suit. It should be tailored to fit you. Exactly. I like mm -hmm. that. I like that. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I think the hashtag relationship goal probably, I think it should just go away and say, I, I don't know what to replace it with, but I, I just don't think that, that people really pause to think about things like that. And I'm guilty as well. Yeah. I have done it. 
I have put relationship goals on some things and then, but then once again, that comes from studying yourself mm -hmm. and like, you know what? Human behavior is like, I have no idea what's going on behind closed doors. Yeah. And maybe that just comes with maturity and more life. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But I, I just brought, I wanted to bring that to the forefront for those that, that aren't of the age that I am and seeing the things that I have. I, I want people to really pause and think about things that they hashtag or like you say, are envious of in relationship. Michelle Obama just recently, her interview is coming out where she's saying for 10 years, she didn't even like him. It's and bomb. That, her interview that is, is bomb. Is, that is relationship goals, if nothing else, that they got thousands, probably millions of relationship goals. She said for 10 years, I did not like that mm -hmm. man. And she broke it down. She said, when you get children and you have responsibilities yep. and you're passing in the night and you going off golfing for five hours and I'm here with the kids and I'm yes. going home. She was so real about that. And I said, that isn't a lesson. Yeah. Because everybody wanted relationship goals about the Obamas. So yes, exactly. I put I put hashtag relationship goals, but I put it with pictures of us. And I have I've never put hashtag relationship goals as it pertains to anybody else's relationship. Because again, I don't want what somebody else has because I don't know what you really have. So I'm doing good to be in my own relationship, let alone try to <laughs> want what somebody else has. So no, no, and I love that interview. Um, and I only saw snippets of it. But what she right. said was so powerful. People are looking at the Obamas and they're thinking, oh, they have this wonderful, amazing, and not, that's not to say they don't. But it's just right, the, right. there's things that are happening in the relationship that you don't know about. And it's not exactly. all sunshine and roses. <laughs> it is not. And I like I say, I hope more and more people see that so we can knock off the foolishness of wishing we have other people's lives or other people's relationships. Yeah. It's it's just ridiculous. And it sets you up for failure. And I think it sets uh in particular men up to a certain standard that's not realistic. And that's not fair to our men. We already have a hard enough time finding men to date. You know, and particularly if you want a black yeah. man. Okay, so now the numbers are shrunk. So now we are shrinking it even down more if on your birthday he don't come with that uh, Louis Vuitton box. You know what I'm saying? So now that's your expectation. That's ridiculous. Marcus said I can get the box. It's just going to be empty. <laughs> Just like just like our relationship, oh. that's what you. If just like our relationship, if that's what you expected. <laughs> oh, you about to be a TikTok man? You know what's my? Oh yeah, that's a, that's what you about to be. You about to be a TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that's a that's another thing too, Tam. Is how that's been a huge phenomenon of the unboxing of all the gifts that your husband or your mate got you. The um. Yeah. The ring reveals and the, all of the carrots yeah. on the ring and all of those things create expectations from other women yeah. that all men are going to do these things. The huge engagements and we get so caught up in that. Oh, look how he engaged, how he proposed to her. I would love to have that. I would, And it creates pressure for men to think yeah. they have to show up the same way people on social media are showing up. It's not realistic. Yeah. There are people who do that, but there are people who don't. And this, and this actually started before social media. Can you think about weddings, yeah, the big, right. lavish weddings, mm -hmm. the, and all this, you know, the word of mouth and all the, and yeah. the pictures and all that. And we always had the the society where where men's the provider. He and she, and if you want to marry this woman, you got to be able to support her, which is what which is right. But also pay for this wedding. The, this ring that posted. What was that rule? The ring supposed to be what, a year's salary or some crazy mess like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know. Right. So now right. we're put everything. To me, that's that's made up by the retail people. Mm -hmm. What is the right. yeah. of the day? What's the retail? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So right. now we're putting right. more strain. You know, no more strain on us on our financially, and which brings yeah. more stress, which brings more problems to a relationship. Exactly. Right. So, right. You're exactly. And so right. now we talking about these, these false relationship goals. So I'm not. I'm not going to dismiss relationship goals using the proper context. 
these false right. goals. It's just another yeah. way of doing that. And right. now we trying to keep up, like I say, keep up with the Joneses. And that's just another way it is, trying to keep up the Joneses. Mm-hmm. And we up here trying to, so what I'm getting at is we're, what we're doing is we're trying to pick the fruit without planting the tree. Ooh, you dropping some bombs today, Mark. I've been practicing. You must have got a good night's sleep. <laughs> <laughs> you got some rest. Yeah. And you did get a good night's sleep because yeah. you didn't get up at four. See? <laughs> <laughs> there, there we go. That is so that is so true. But you know what? Um women and men have to take responsibility for that. You know what I'm saying? And I, I was my guy friends, I have a lot of guy friends, and I tell them. Stop taking these damn women out to the five star restaurant on the first date. Yeah. Stop it. Yeah. It's ridiculous. I, I think you really are gonna see who that chick is if you say, Hey, look, let's meet for Starbucks. Let's let's do a yep. coffee and chat. Yeah. Just, I mean, really, yeah. really just stop all that and free. get to the core of it. Shout out, Floyd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, but but I understand men because a lot of women say, I wish he would. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> Uh oh. No, I would do. I Uh-oh. would be the one who would try to impress you, try to do something. I mean, that's a, you know, <laughs> it was, when that bill came up, I thought it was pointing to you, Kia. <laughs> that was me. No, because oh, I, I would try to if if it was, if it was needed and I had a pocket right at that moment, I would try to take a five star. But we kind of discussed it, mm-hmm. and I know what you was looking for. So, but you was okay. it was in, I had, but I have tried to do it with other women before, you know. Try to go outside my means, trying to make that initial pressure. Okay. But, but we can't. Right. We try to be up here. We really down here, mm-hmm. and you know when you really we try to be up here, you down here. Your ass gonna be way down here later on. Yeah, you know what? It you can't even if you could sustain that because I've you know I've dated some men that had some high power positions. They I mean they had the money, nice salary, nice income. But some of the things I always remember was the little things. Us sitting on the porch yeah. together, you know, smoking a cigar. Him, you know, kind of scolding me. We went to the grocery store and I tried to put my bag in the car. And he told me, what are you doing? Get in the car. I got this. So those are the things that I really remember from that man, even though he, other things, other lavish things came with it. But to me, that's really what was attractive to me. Exactly. And I know Women nowadays are something else. Believe me, guys, I get it. I hear. I'm like, you have got to be kidding, sis. Yeah. And they're not kidding. Yeah. They're, they're dead serious about some of these expectations they have. They will not go. Many will not go to a Starbucks and chat. No, uh-uh. they're done with you. But yeah. again, that weeds them out early. Weeds yeah. Early. You know, so now you're right. And like I said, I try doing the high impressive things a lot of times. But as I, as you said, as I got older, I started no, I noticing I couldn't sustain it. One and two, I had did the coffee thing. I'm like, damn, this actually worked because there's times I just had coffee with ladies. I want to date with, never talk to them again. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Save your money, man. Yeah. and you spent five dollars. <laughs> yeah, right. So it's more than right. five. We're in the Starbucks. It was more than five dollars. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Twenty dollars. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you agree, and especially with being with her, and I, and even with Dar, I'm noticing how you say the little things make a difference. I'm noticing. Yes. I'm noticing that, and I'm, as I look at all the comments from, from all the posts, those those make a difference. For instance, I'm gonna tell you what really stuck stuck out to me. Remember the post about what 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 are you attracted to a man? What stands out about a man? When you're looking at a man you're attracted to, I and I noticed nobody said really said anything about physical. It was like his smell, his style, anything like like it wasn't about his physique. That was never really mentioned, and that like stood out to me. It's like wow. Right. So I'm noticing that what men think of what women want is not always true. We act a lot of times we misled. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. You know, mm-hmm. you base mm-hmm. everything on ego yeah. instead of reality. Yep. Oh. Okay. Egos are the reality. Yeah, but, but we can't sit around as sisters and co-sign bullshit. That's another thing. Exactly. Mm. I call bullshit on a lot of yep. conversations. I really do. I'm like, I do it in a loving way, <laughs> but I will. I'll start, I'll start asking questions. I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm not sure about that, sis. Yeah. No, that, that hasn't been my experience. And 
Stop the bullshit with your girlfriends. Right. Please. Exactly. Exactly. I know you have. I know you've had the experience, kid. Oh yeah. I, I definitely. One of the things that again that I, I pick up a lot of, especially since we've been together, is when I have some of my friends or girlfriends say to me, "Um, I'm not gonna do that." And I'm like, you're not gonna do what? You made his plate. You did. And I'm like, well, I'm just gonna say this. You do it how you feel like you need to do it. But if you've already made up in your mind going into something that you don't need to do this and you don't need to do that, but they need to do all of these things for you, you're going into the relationship wrong because you think you're supposed to get served. And then you don't have to do anything for the man. And it's just. Right. It's, it's so much um, belief in, in the social media world. A lot of women are following this trend of the few posts that they see on social media and thinking that that's the reality of what their life is supposed to look like. So they're not interested in a man who's genuine, who's kind, who's loyal, who has respect. They want somebody that's going to keep paying money buying them things, materialistic things, but can right. cheat. I've heard women say, he can cheat on me as long as he pay the bills. I've heard right. women say, yeah. I don't care what he do out there as long as he take care of home. Mm. He can have as many yeah. kids outside there as he wants, but he better take care of me. I better get right. this. I better get that. I would date yeah. a man that drive a such and such car. Oh, you better look at his shoes if his shoes are dirty. I'm not, Just okay. all of these things that don't have anything to do with the substance of a man. And so right. when I say something, it's usually with the women that are saying that, they usually get upset with me because they don't believe that that's the way to try to form a healthy relationship. Right. And that's not, right. that's not my fight. It's not my fight. If right. you think that that's appropriate and you want to find somebody yes. that takes you to all five-star restaurants. If you want to find somebody that drives a certain type of car, if you want to find somebody that's going to cheat on you and lie and do all those things for materialistic things, go for it. It's, sad. it's a sad reality, though. Even in fact, when people say to me, um, and I've said this before, people are so caught up in um, not trusting people. So a young lady says this to me. She's 29. She says just recently, she says, you, you trust your guy enough that he can travel out of town and you don't FaceTime him all the time. I said, we very rarely FaceTime. I don't have to watch after him. He's an adult. I'm an adult. We're in a relationship. He respects our relationship. I respect our relationship. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I don't I don't have to FaceTime him. Up. Because you see what these men be out here doing? They just be lying and playing games. Girl, you better not believe. And I was like, but where did that come from? I said, yeah. where, where did that come from that you feel like you have to FaceTime a man 24-7? Yeah. She said, I just don't, I, I don't have trust in him like that because of all these things he did in the past. I said, well, this is a different conversation. It's a different con conversation now because the history for me, would be enough for me not to be there. But you chose to stay, but you can't release right. the history. So that's a totally different conversation now. But you think because you saw these people on TV acting a fool, cussing a man out, doing all of this, that's what you should do. Because that's how right. she was talking. She was, and then you see in, uh, um, why did I get married is what she quoted. Tasha. She said, oh, Oh, girl, I'm like, Tasha. I'm like, Tasha, I'm going to play. And I was like, okay. Life is not TV. Life is not no. social media. But no. it, it, when I talk to young girls, they do quote movies or yeah. some social media or some person. Some social media They're person, quoting right? yep. So you know that. Which tells you how much is in there. Uh -huh. Yeah. Right. It tells you right there. And that's, and it, you know what, kid? It's not even the young ones. Like you said, I still hear 40, 50 year old women doing True. the crazy stuff. I'm like, you have got to be kidding me. But True. once again, we have to talk to these women. They're going to do what they want to do because they're grown women. Yeah. But I have had ex 
examples where I've said, you know what, sis, that ain't right. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And let's look at it from this. And, you know, I try and give them an example from my life, my experience. And even though they later may come back and say, hey, Tamara, I thought about that. You know what? I've been through enough bullshit. It's time for me to do something different. Yeah. I can't go through my, my life and be silent. I really can't. Mm -hmm. If I hear that sort of foolishness, I'm going to say something. Yep. And they can digest it or they cannot digest it. But something, a seed may be planted. Yeah. Because I'm not the only one doing that. If, if Tamara says it, Kia says mm -hmm. it, Janelle says it, and all these people. So I, I really beg the women to challenge yourself to say something when you hear this dysfunctional conversation. And it doesn't have to blow up. If it, if it starts getting heated, it's like, boo. I'm saying this in love. love. You do what you want to do. Right. Right. But, but it takes a village. Somehow we've got to turn this around. Our black community is in trouble. Our yep. black relationships are in trouble. This is under us. And I feel attack. as an older woman, as an auntie, uh, I, I feel some sort of responsibility. I'm sorry. You know what? I've been in a single life a long time. There ain't much I ain't seen, done, or experienced. And believe mm -hmm. me, I haven't always been on the good side. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, uh, I've dissed some people because of what they drove. I've dissed some people because of what they wore. I've dissed some people because of their salary. I've dissed some people because of their language, how they spoke. Look, I'm going to tell you, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's yeah. just true. When you dated 20, 30, 25 years, I've experienced yeah. a lot. Yeah. And I'm still experiencing. I'm almost mm -hmm. 60 years old. You wouldn't believe the things I'm still experiencing at this age. But I, I refuse to have the mentality to go out there and get what I can get from people. Now, exactly. I did have that mentality one time, too. Yeah. But but that won't give you peace. Mm -hmm. It really won't. I really encourage people to get their own lives. I think that's the most important thing. Mm -hmm. And the truth and reality and some solid friendships. Yep. Cool. Makes the biggest difference in the world. It does. But all this, you know, hashtag and bullshit and relating to other people. Did you see the show last night? Like I said, I don't digest that anymore. I did the Real Housewives. First couple of seasons I watched. I knew it was trash then, but I just found it entertaining, you know? <laughs> but <laughs> something to talk with other people about. It's like, they talking about the house. What are they talking about? I want to engage, too. Yeah. But then I started, I started saying, no, nah, you have to be careful what you absorb into yep. your psyche. Yep. You really do. So I was like, after that second year, I was like, no, nah, I'm, I'm going to let them have it. Mm -hmm. That's just too much right there. Yeah. I'm going to be out of the conversation. Exactly. <laughs> you want to... Um Let's address some comments. Yeah, let's, talk. let's take a break and let's address some comments. So, let's see where Rick says, hey, y'all, the goal is not to be like anyone else because you don't know what they did to get there, or even if it's real. Exactly. Um, um, uh, Twyla said, social media gives us false narratives on relationships, on relationships and how people live. Very true. Mm -hmm. Right. My, uh, she said also she also said he's giving relationship uh, advice from his car. I'm not sure why anyone has to take women. Taking him seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about Derek Jackson. Yeah. Oh, I love this comment. This is my favorite one so far. Look at Marcus Hughes and reflective listening. <laughs> Good job, cousin. That's from that's from Shy. Our group therapist. <laughs> uh Floyd says, speak the truth, Kia. All right. Uh because what it says, we also need to remember that shallow people aren't emotionally raped for the hard truths. So, oh, okay, hold on. Come on back uh, here. That's why, okay. that's why hit the more button. And that's why they live on the surface life. Digging deep is for adults. Damn. For adults. That's what I said, wasn't it? What did I say? For, for, for adults. Wrong folks. How about that? Okay. All right. And. Cool. That's pretty much that. That was sort of the main ones. But I like the one about what Slow says. Mm -hmm. you know, I saw a comment about somebody said they were triggered by something. Oh, Where did that go? Did you see that, Mark? Uh, Tart, Tart said the car comment triggered him. Um, because back in the day, he had several women say they wouldn't date him because of his car. I remember that. Oh, yeah? Yeah. She, well, you know. That's I, re I remember him telling me about several women saying to him, and he was disturbed by that. Like, what? You won't date me because of the car I drive? But 
There's there's women who will who will do that. And so they actually did him a favor. Mm hmm That to me that's a favor. If you do not get me because my car and it's running, or and then don't let the bitch be paid for running and paying for it. <laughs> and you don't want to date me because of it. Yeah. We we good. No need. Because we won't yeah, most of the time right. anyway. So that's but what does that say? about a man that purchases a car for women now we got that yeah. that issue you know do you think men really buy the car that's some men i guess do buy a car because it was a dream car but i do think there are quite a few men that buy a car to attract women you're like yeah. oh yeah, yeah i'm a, I'm a yeah. lady yeah. they're not wrong about mm -hmm. it right so there's been time there has been a yeah. time when i had a car with a couple vehicles and one of the things i thought about was i'm, I'm gonna pull i'm gonna pull me some now or, or they don't be on on me this on this. They named it had a Cadillac. Okay. Catalina or something. Cadillac? Yeah. Catalina. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest though. If a man pills up in a 1968 Pinto, I might have a hard time getting in. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not judging me for surface. <laughs> just judge me for surface. I, I'm surface there. I'm just saying. I'm just. <laughs> I'm just not getting in the pinto. I'm sorry. Just, 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 just. Look, look he might be me saying that's his second car. He might be, you know, whatever. But I'm just. He may have twenties on it. I well, I would get in the pinto. I would. I would get in the pinto. I would, I would get in the pinto. I would. Okay, kid. Right. You better than me, then. Yeah, I'm gonna. As pass. long as the heat works and the air works, depending <laughs> on what the temperature. I mean, I'm not comfortable in hot or cold, but. If that heat ain't hot. working. Yeah, oh, <laughs> we good. Let's get there. <laughs> you gonna pull? You gonna pull? I'm you just, pull yeah. Okay. What's up? But you know me. I'm not. I'm. I'm not really a materialistic person like that. I'm more of the be thoughtful. You know, like be what you were saying earlier, Tam. Think about the things. I tell people all the time, you don't have to have a lot of money to make me happy. I love candles. I love anything essential oils. I love anything that's about me relaxing and having peace. Those things don't cost a lot. Buy me a plant. Buy me some essential oils. Buy me some candles. Those are all inexpensive things. I don't want a name brand purse. If you see me with a name brand purse, somebody else bought it for me. I don't because those are the things I'm gonna buy for myself or even ask that anybody buy for me. So those those are things I don't care about. I don't care about name brand clothes. I don't care about name brand anything. So it's I'm pretty simple. Now what I do like to indulge in is food. Mm -hmm. I do and, and it's not all the time, but I, I want to go right. to a nice restaurant occasionally. So but it's yeah. kind of all the time. I can go, we can pull up in the drive through and you get me some fries and I'm good. <laughs> yeah. Hashtag them damn fries. <laughs> There's many days and many, I won't say days, many nights I had to stop by McDonald's for some fries. There's time, I'm, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you. There's times I had to leave the house, put my shoes and clothes back on because she needed some fries. But I do it because. So she she'll go out she'll go out her way for a lot of stuff for me and she'll take a lot of my bullshit. So that's what it takes mm. to keep my <laughs> taking my bullshit. I'll go eighth of a mile, half a mile, <laughs> in, in my car that's paid for <laughs> to go get the car that's paid for. <laughs> paid for. Yeah. Well, that's a nice word. Isn't it? Not nice he, words. In hey, AC room. Heat and AC work, and that's all I care about. I don't care what the car looks like. I don't care what year, make, model, as long as it runs and I'm comfortable when I'm sitting. <laughs> yeah. It's your time to go but home strong. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I want to address some more comments. Because um, this is 45. Time went by fast. Mm -hmm. Monica said, do not lead with your material things if you don't want to be judged by them. Mm. Okay. That's a word. Big lesson learned. Consuela said, right. y'all, my friends told me that my husband is wrong for not buying me a new car before he bought one for himself. Woo, child, I bit down so hard on my tongue. I meant ex-friend. <laughs> 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 yeah, that'll do it. Um, 
<laughs> because, like, first of all, who, who you tell me what my husband should buy me? That part. <laughs> like, oh, uh, come on now. That part. But I yeah. do want. I want to touch on this. And you didn't. This isn't what we were really talking about. But I do kind of want to insert this in because I feel like it's in the family. It's we get a lot of people that'll say to us, "So when y'all getting married?" And I'm like, "Well, what if that wasn't our goal? What if marriage wasn't our end goal? What if it was we're happy together, we're good being together, but that's not our goal?" But I think society puts certain pressures. Think about the woman that doesn't have kids. When you gonna have kids? When you gonna do this? When you going that might not be my goal. It may not be, you don't know that because I haven't told you what my goal is because it's really none of your business. But people will often say that even like when y'all gonna have kids, it's just, that might not be a goal of ours. So we have to be careful even with that. I just wanted to insert that because we have to be careful with creating a goal that society wants for people versus what we want for ourselves. Because if we want to get married or if that would happen, we'll let people know that. But I think people, it's just an automatic thing. It's nothing wrong with it, but it's just something to be aware of when you say to people, what if that woman can't bear children? What if they they're not getting married for whatever reason you know it could be financial reasons or whatever so you don't know those things so it's just best not to say those things because that's not everybody's goal absolutely absolutely and i think we have to relearn some things i think some things are just knee-jerk reaction you know when i say you know i'm single and i have no kids oh you can't have kids i mean who does that i mean just think about it. that's a knee-jerk but that's a knee-jerk reaction it is. Kids, but we need to relearn learn some things you know what i'm saying like mm -hmm. you might want to pause before you you say that yeah. but i understand because i've heard it yeah. so much you know what i'm saying when a person's lost an excessive amount of weight we always say oh girl you look so good what no you need to stop and pause because it may be due to sickness yeah See, there's things we just need to relearn yeah and so the more we talk about them the more that we can learn how to you know handle these situations yeah mm -hmm. like for you guys you don't automatically, yeah, we've been dating, you know, so and so. Now, when are you getting married? Oh, that's, that's just, that's their business. So that actually you know goes, saying? yeah, so Tim, that actually goes back to why our relation goes pretty BS. Because we always looking at time frames. A lot of people look at time that's frames. Right. You date this long, you should be engaged at this time. Or you, by you've been together this long, you should be married by this time. And by trying to be so stringent on these time frames and what you are expected to do, it can ultimately cause a failure by putting too much stress on the relationship instead of getting it tailored to you. Maybe mm -hmm. our relationship wasn't ready to be at that step. Mm -hmm. Or maybe right. financially we're not ready to be there. You know, right. there might be some setbacks. Yeah. Oh. Maybe some things going on. So right. these are the things that uh, like I said, society science a lot of times put on us and and it can lead to it can lead us to our downfall. This is yep. why I always say we have to. Be, sometimes we have to build, form a barrier around our relationship to keep the BS out. Mm -hmm. You know, we gonna see, mm -hmm. people gonna hear it, but we gotta be able to keep it out of our house because it's always trying to infiltrate. Wow. It's always trying to come sad. in. But yeah. And oh. damn, that's sad. Yeah, and this is where like, actually this is where both partners have to be strong. They're like, okay, babe. Yeah. That's that bullshit. Don't worry about it. We know what we gotta That's do. That yeah. This is not our time. This is not we're not we're not there yet. Or this is not where you're in that place to do that. Don't worry about we you know, mm -hmm. don't let that get to us. Mm -hmm. You know, like That's we were saying about about talent, y'all getting wedding or whatever. No, this when we when that time comes, it'll you know, happen. Yeah. And I, I mean like I, we're, we don't get upset by people doing it or anything because I understand where it comes from. It's just people should be aware of that going forward about asking those types of questions because it's not, first of all, it's not your business, to be honest. It's just not. And then secondly, that go, that's a goal that society has put out there. Right. Just know that right. we have had our conversation and any other relationships that you see out there, I'm sure they've had conversations. So it's not up to us to um, impart our 
our beliefs or our thoughts about where their relationship should go. Both of us have right. been married before, and so we know the experience. We've experienced it. And so it's like, it's just not, it's just not really appropriate going forward. People should just stop asking no, that question. You know, but I do want to- We love y'all. But- We love y'all, but, but, but. Hold on. What I will say, I, the reason I understand where you're coming from, and I understand the intent, because yeah. that means they're they they yeah. uh, they're pulling for you. I want that to be known yeah. that they're pulling for you. They 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 see what you're doing and they love they love how it's going. So that's true. It's it's the interpret. We know what they meant, and I appreciate yeah. it. Oh, we appreciate it. Mm -hmm. but like you said, it's got to be relearned and addressed a different way. You know, it's a different time. Not, not, right. Not, yeah, not really those really who is. say it sometimes because I know what they mean, but I know how it can be taken and how it feels and it's not always appropriate these days right because right you're right it puts on the i have asked it. <laughs> i have asked but it's been an intimate relationship i've had girlfriends that are very, i'm very close right. to and you know sometimes you know we hang out we drinking and we're just opening yeah. up yeah so i in those situations i have said hey girl what you think do you, do you see this leading to marriage so i have mm -hmm. but very cocoon situation that makes you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. you know yeah, and, that makes and sense. That, you know yeah but uh yeah otherwise yeah the bullshit is out there and i think it's up to us to all to be bullshit busters um so when you when you hear some bullshit busted up you know what i'm saying but do it in love that's the hashtag yeah. that's the hashtag <laughs> bullshit busters we're using that hashtag and look who just joined babe perfect time to do it <laughs> Oh yeah! Uh, hey, Campbells, we Campbells. We, perfect time. We're wanting to tell you and tell everybody who's watching the whole dark dar world happy, happy anniversary. anniversary. Twenty-two oh. years tomorrow. Wow! So let's Yay. wish them twenty-two years more of happiness and bliss. And to the Campbells, thanks as you all continue to support us too. Consuela has now put bullshit <laughs> busters. <laughs> <laughs> that is now the new hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we wanted to announce the um, anniversary of the Campbells, and then what's our next announcement? The new schedule for next the year. New schedule. Starting in 2023, we're going to be going live on Wednesday. I'm just lying. We're going to be going live every Wednesday. We're going to go. We're going to go live twice a week, twice a month, twice a month on Wednesdays. No, we won't do it every week. We're going to scale it down some. Okay. You know, that's fair. Yeah, you got time. You need time for yourself and you think. Know. Yeah, I get it. And you guys, I want you guys to miss us a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> we will. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it'll be every other Wednesday, right? Yes. Every other Wednesday, we will be doing the live. For those that want to be a guest in 2023, please shoot us a message. Um, and as we ask of town, shoot us some thoughts about different topics that you want to discuss with us. Um, we definitely want to do that for our members, especially the ones that have been so consistent, who kind of know the, the the vibe of how we move through our lives. Um, so please send us um, an email or a inbox. Let us know that you're interested in being a guest in 2023 and what topic you want to discuss. What's the last? All right, one more to go. Shout out to on here she might still be a our our, our dark therapist will have a segment that will be that she we will share once a quarter bit mm -hmm. once a quarter we'll stay going she's going to record it and put on our platform on, a, on our facebook page and our youtube and when you as you watch it if you have any kind of comments type in there and she'll address them so it's, it's time the dark therapist is she's here Let's let's use her. Let her impart her therapeutic ways. And that, that's right. Her. Yep. All right. Cool. Therapeutic ways. Yeah. Then I'll make up some words. <laughs> Hashtag. What the hell he say? <laughs> <laughs> so. Cause you, you be making up your words. Back, well, making, uh, yeah. 
That'd be the fun part. Baby. <laughs> hold, hold on. Every word had to be invented. You're right. Yeah, okay. yeah. I'll let you. Yeah, so I just need to learn hashtag. I need to uh, trademark some of these words. <laughs> so, Shamika or Shamika is coming your way. I, I can't wait till that first one hit. And for those who have really seen her action, you're in for a treat. She has a way of making information out there and, and making so you can exalt. You're like, oh, what? Damn, do I really? Oh, that's yeah. how you do this? It, may, it makes so much sense. Yeah. And she's, a, she's an all-around good, fun person. I have nothing but respect for her. Let's address some comments. I think Lawrence left some comments. Price tags are created for people who view objects above true values. There's so much to be discovered in a person. Love this. That's true. And he said, great show. Keep it going, y'all. Thank you, Lawrence. And Keldrick said, thank you. A lot of people said, happy anniversary. Consuela said, happy holidays, everyone. Thank you all so much. Um, What's our last thing? Oh, the last thing. Support. 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 Yeah. Support. What she said, support, support, support. <laughs> so, just keep supporting. That's all we're asking for going forward in 2023. We hope that everyone has an amazing holiday um, and weekend. If you are looking for a good time, feel free to come hang out with us on Friday. If you're a smoker, we're going to be smoking cigars at El Jefe. If you're in Dallas, come join us. Um, we're going to be smoking. But wait to 2023. Yeah, 2023. We put some stuff together. If you missed out in 2022, 2023, 2023, <laughs> this coming year <laughs> is your time. Come and join us. Have fun. Can't wait to see you live. Well, Tam, this was an amazing topic. Thank you, Thank you. so, so much. Oh, oh. Before, we, before we end this, no, 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 don't you leave, Tam. You got one more thing. You have to. You have so much interesting things going on in your life. Because I, I know I be taking pictures of somebody. Who be, shout out what you do that she always that she model for. So please, let everybody know before we get out of here. Put your plug. Hey, support is everything. Support is everything. Yeah, I create content, you guys. So I create content for brands and businesses, and by that I mean I create videos, snort, short snippets about you know. What separates you from everybody else? Everybody wants to get to the bag, right? Video is the way to do it. Not everybody has time for video. I can create the video content for you. One of the things that has happened recently is that I've become an Amazon influencer. So I have my own store on Amazon. So I drop items in there, some lifestyle, some fashion, some electronics, all that sort of thing in my store. Kia has supported me and bought from my store. She has taken pictures of, of the items that she's worn. And has been put onto Amazon. So that's the cool thing, you guys. When you shop in my store, you take a picture in it, you're going to be on Amazon if you give me permission. That's how powerful social media is. That's the good side. That's not the bullshit. Yep. That's the side where somebody can possibly make an income and where you can show your style and be seen and support somebody like myself. So that's one thing that's really exciting that's going to happen that has happened for me this year. But there's more things coming in 2023. But anybody that wants to collaborate with me about video, of course, I'm going to be collaborating with Data Firm The Real. We're going to get the word out. We're going to blow this place up full of people who are of quality. That's what we're going to stress all the way. All the way. We were talking about quality people. So you guys out there know some quality people. Or maybe you know some people that are on the edge of bullshit. So let's bring them all over to the right side. Invite them into this group. Let them hear some healthy, honest, transparent conversation. I love you guys all. Have a great holiday. And please, please be safe. We need to see you next year. Okay? Right on. Thank you, guys. We'll see you Friday. All see right. Friday. Thank you, everybody. Love, 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 positive. love positive. See you next week. Oh, not next week. Next year. <laughs> All right. Next year. <laughs> bye bye, y'all.